and the being of an act to establish the National Sports Commission to be charged with the responsibilities of administering, encouraging, and development, developing sports and games throughout Nigeria and other matters is then targeted to 2020 SB 202. Held on 8 July 2021 at the room 022 National Assembly Complaints Abuja. Your Excellency, the President of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the Chairman, National Assembly, distinguished Dr. Senator Ahmed Ibrahim Lawa, ably represented by distinguished Senator Philip Aduda, my distinguished colleagues, all other protocols duly observed. The gentlemen of the press, it is my honor and privilege to welcome you to this historic event. I am particularly glad that we are all here to witness this day. As we all know, this public hearing is for two different important and related bills. The first bill is for the establishment of the Federal University of Sports. And the second one is for the establishment of the National Sports Commission. Esteemed compatriots, recall that the bill for the establishment of Federal University of Sports was sponsored by my humble self and read for the first time on the floor of the Senate on Tuesday, 5th November 2019, while the second reading was on 19th May 2021, and later referred to this committee, hence this public hearing. Also, the second bill was conceived to facilitate the establishment of National Sports Commission, which shall be an agency of government officially empowered by law with the responsibility of effective administration and promotion of sports and games development throughout Nigeria. As we all know, this game, this same bill was sponsored by me in the 8th National Assembly and passed by the Senate. But because Mr. President did not assent to it, we had to return to status quo. Thus, the key essence of this debate for the establishment of the Federal University of Sports in Ghana is to provide a highly specialized institution with the state of arts facilities where the youths of our nation can particularly be developed in various sporting activities in an academically charged environment. The objective of the bill is for the establishment of the University of Sports, among other others, include to encourage the advancement of learning and to hold out to all persons without distinction of race, creed, and sex, or political conviction, the opportunity of acquiring higher education in sports. Develop, uh, or develop and offer academic and professional programs, leading to the award of diploma, first degrees, postgraduate research and higher degrees, with emphasis on planning, adaptive technical maintenance, developmental and product skills in the engineering and allied professional disciplines relating to sports, resources with the aim of producing social mature men and women with capability not only to understand the use and adopt existing technologies in the sports, but to improve on them and develop new ones. Act as agent and catalyst through postgraduate training, research and innovation for the effective and economic utilization, exploration and conservation of the country's sports resources. Offer to the general population, particularly in the area of sports, as a form of public service, the result of training and research and to foster the practical application of these results. Establish appropriate relationship with other national institutions involved in training, 
research and development of technologies in the sports sector, identify and promote sound basic scientific training as a foundation for the development of sports in Nigeria, taking into account indigenous culture and the need to enhance unity, to enhance unity. It is instructive to note that this bill is mostly targeted at the Nigerian youths. A lot of youths of this great country have great sporting talents, and it is of great importance that we put them in an environment that will inspire, motivate, and challenge them to first develop their talents into marketable values that will, great, that will grant them good earning and promote revenue generation to the country in form of taxes, and secondly, to enable them attend university degrees as it is applicable to countries like Germany, Canada, and India, and so on. In the other hand, the bill for the establishment of National Sports Commission seeks to foster the development, organization, and participation in sporting activities in the country. The commission will undertake the maximum maintenance of all federal government sporting facilities across the country. It will also be the responsibility of the commission to provide instructive information and guide the organizations of sports competitions for the country and further broker resorts oriented public private participation PPV arrangement targeted at mobilizing resources of, for promoting participations in sports in the country and at both international interstate national and international level. The commission will also provide and maintain sports centers for the training of Nigerians as instructors and organize, organizers of sports, thereby encouraging the commercialization of sports as it is obtained in advanced countries. It is expected that when the bill is passed, assented, will be granted, will be granted and the commission will be commenced in earnest in view of its importance to the country's sports development. No doubt, this will change the status of Nigerian sports and bring them in line with international best practice, especially in the areas of sports administration, as well as local and global competitions. May I, at this junction, urge my distinguished colleagues and the general public here present that both bills are here staring at us to see what our voices are in shaping the history of sports and youth development in Nigeria. I am highly persuaded that it will be a great disservice to our nation if this bill failed to sell to see the light of the day. At this point, let me kindly inform us that posterity will either judge us right or wrong depending on the side we take and what becomes the joint decision of this August gathering. I therefore sincerely implore each, of, each and every one of us seated here today to be part of this making this history, bearing in mind that this will help in shaping the future of our youths and sports development. Just as I have always said, my colleagues and I in, the, in this ninth assembly are all sports loving people, including the president of the Senate, ably represented here. And we are committed in making sure that the sports development in Nigeria is achieved and improved. God bless you all. Thank you immensely for finding time to come. I, I hereby invite the President of the Senate and the Chairman of the National Assembly, distinguished Senator Dr. Ahmed Lawan, ably represented by Senator Philip Adoda, to declare this open. Thank you.